Happy video day guys, Christina Brooke here and welcome to another five day challenge where I have to use one eyeshadow palette for five days straight. No matter the circumstance, I have to use this palette. I do this on purpose so that I can really get to know these palettes, tell you guys my final verdict on them. Can they be used daily? What are their flaws? What did I encounter trying to force myself to use this palette? And this week, the one that won was the new NARS Climax palette. So I was super excited to play with this guy. I think you guys know that I always thought that this was such a beautiful palette and when I first got it I kind of fell in love with it. So I was actually really excited to really test this out for five days straight to see if you know, the fact that I do love this palette really is true if I had to use it every single day. I'm gonna tell you guys the results on this one are in, like kind of amazing. I really think that this is probably one of my favorite five day challenges that I have done. And it's shocking to me because I've used some pretty amazing palettes already and this one just, and this one was just kind of incredible. So anyways, before we go ahead and get into everything, if you are not subscribed already, I would love it if you would hit subscribe if you like five day challenges. I'm going to continue to do these as many times as I can. I've got so many eyeshadow palettes. So many of you guys have really loved this so much. So we're going to just keep it up. And if you're not following me over on Instagram, it's Christina Brooke Beauty. I will usually announce to you guys what palette we're going to start doing. So if you guys want to pull out the palette too and start using it for five days straight, we can do it together. So anyways, Let's go ahead, let's get into this. I've got a lot of days to go over, a lot of fun eye looks, and a lot of final thoughts. So let's get into it right now. All right guys, today is day number one of the five day challenge for this palette right here. So we're gonna be doing the Climax palette from NARS. This beauty, oh my goodness, I love this palette so much. So I'm excited to take this one on a test drive for five days. So as of this moment right now, this one is winning over the Jaguar palette. And because of my um, trying to film a lot of videos within this month of December, I need to start this five day challenge. So right now it's winning. I hope that it ends up winning over the Jaguar palette. I think it's like at 70% right now. So I think it's gonna win. <laughs> It might completely switch on me, but hopefully it wins. So today we're gonna do something fun. I have a few videos to film today, but I don't have anything special to do. So I think we can have a little bit more fun today. And I wanna start off with a green look because I feel like playing with green. So we're gonna start with this shade right here. I'm excited to wear this one a few different days. This is one of those palettes that I loved it when I picked it up, so, and I haven't really played with it much, literally because of the distraction of all the other palettes I keep releasing, so I'm happy to be able to play with this one a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this shade right here close to the brow bone, and then work its way up to the eyebrow. Topish, mauvish color that looks really cool with blue, I'm um, blue, ha! Huh? That looks really, really cool with green, so I can't wait to put the green with this. Let's do something interesting. Let's do a little bit like a halo-y, green let's grab this green here let's bring that in the inner portion and the outer portion of the lid so i'm going to try to kind of like do a little bit like a smoky look we can do something a little bit fun today might be mid-afternoon but i can do something pretty dramatic so i'm using for this a refer 14 brush And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this green and put that in the center. What a pretty green. What I wanna do, I wanna try wetting my brush just to see if it amps up that color. My Pixie Mist just to wet this. It definitely made it a little bit more foil-like, but I think for the most part, since it's such a deep shade, it has enough shine to it that it definitely sticks out if you guys, I think you guys can tell. There's something about this look that makes me wanna do like a purple eyeliner. Let's go ahead and let's blend that with this. Okay, so then we're gonna run a little bit of the green on the lower lash line. And let's blend it just a little bit with this color. I 
What a beautiful green eye. Oh my goodness. I love, I love a good deep green. Look how pretty that is. I just, ah. Uh, why don't more palettes have these colors in it? I don't even know why. This is such a pretty palette. I mean, right now I am on cloud nine. Right, so that is the look. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some liner. Maybe I'll put a fun liner on, I'm not sure yet. Finish this off, put on the lip, and I'll be right, right back. All right, okay, so I'm back. Oh my gosh, so much stuff happened and I'm getting a little delayed today, but I finally finished the makeup and the lips. So this lip combo is one that I've been telling you guys that I've been enjoying. So let me just pull it. So it is Ginger Malt. So this is a really cool color from Bite Beauty, but I mix it with the Natasha Denona Lip Liner in Lala, which is a very deep, vampy, like dark brown. So I line the lips with that and then I put this on and then I use the Lawless Forget the Filler, or Forget the Filler, is that what it's called? Yes. I use the Lawless Forget the Filler and put it on top it makes everything blend together and makes this really cool, dramatic brown with a little bit of burgundy lip that I just think is so cool. And mixed with this really cool eye look, I think it just, it's like a vibe, you know? I don't have that much to do today, so I'm totally vibing with this. I also put a purple liner on. I don't know if you guys can see it good, but it's the purple um, macro tech from Natasha Denona. I also put on the waterline to add a little bit of something to the look. And my lashes today are actually the Rare Beauty mascara not l'oreal lash paradise so i switched it up for you guys but i really like that mascara too so this is the final face of makeup and i think i love this look <laughs> i'm obsessed with the eye makeup the lip i could do a very nude lip with this and just a black liner a completely different look but i just feel like i wanted to vamp it up today and this is a really cool vampy way to wear it but i would totally wear this also with like a peachy nude lip and either way i love this look so Yes, win, 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 day number one, very happy, and I'm so excited to be doing this challenge. I have a feeling that this is gonna be a winner because I've used it before and I just, I, I feel inspired by it. This inspires me. So I'll see you guys in day number two. I got a lot of work to do, so let me go ahead and start getting ready to film a lot of videos for these every single day videos that I promised you guys that now I'm starting to regret. <laughs> All right, so it's casual Friday. I am in the living room. I just wanna quickly show you guys what I did with my eyes today. Look how pretty this eye look is. I hope you could see it good. So NARS palette, what I did was I grabbed this color, spread it all over the lid. Then I grabbed this metallic and I just put it all over from one side to the other. Such a pretty metallic. And then with a brown liner from Natasha Denona, I went ahead and added just a little tiny wing to the outer edge and just like smeared it a little bit just to give a little definition. Rare Beauty Mascara and my lip color, so pretty. It's one of the new Bite Beauty lipsticks that I got in Tamarind. I'm gonna be showing you guys all of them because I'm gonna do a Black Friday haul. I got so many Bite Beauty lipsticks during the Black Friday sale, but yeah, really love this look. Very casual Zara shirt today. I'll show it to you guys, and I love this eye look. So let me show you guys this cute little outfit. So come on with me. I'm gonna show it to you, and we're ready to go. These heels are not me. It's Lexi. Very casual outfit today. This shirt's from Zara, and I really, really like it. Some BB jeans. I'm wearing sneakers. I look for some nicer shoes and I just didn't find anything comfortable. So I need to buy new shoes, but yeah, super cute outfit. Very excited for today. Today's casual Friday and I really love this eye look. It's so, so pretty. So two for two so far with this palette and I'll see you guys in day number three. Hello guys. Let me turn off the radio so you don't hear it. So today I did do my eyes with my five day challenge makeup. So I'm gonna show you guys what I did. I did something really simple. I'll show it to you guys once I get to where we're going. But today, <laughs> this is funny because you guys are probably gonna say, you already did this, Christina, I don't understand. So last week I told you guys I got my hair done. I did. But I have to go back again this week because I think I goofed. I goofed because I told her that I wanted to get like a refresher haircut, like a refresher hair done, like highlights and everything. But I didn't want to stay there super long because of like, you know, this whole thing. Like I just didn't want to be in a salon for a super long time. So I just told her, just refresh it, you know, maybe add some to the front. But I forget that I'm on camera. And since she added to the front and she didn't add right here, you guys see this big darkness here and then my highlights start in the back. So it almost looks like I have a hat, like a cap on the back of my head. So I called and said, hey, I gotta go back in because we've gotta do the whole head for again. 
<laughs> Forget this refresher idea, it is not working. Looking at my video the other day and I saw like just my hair done like right here and then I would turn my head and then all this was dark and I was like, oh my God, this looks terrible. So I'm going back today to have that fixed. So I did use the Climax palette to go to the salon. I'm gonna show you guys that, but you know what? I think I'm gonna go back inside and get some Tylenol and a mask. Let me go do that and then I'll talk to you guys about what I did once I get to the salon. All right guys, I am here at the location. I'm here to get my hair done. It's somewhere back there, but anyways. So let me show you guys what I did with my eyes. So I just wanna kinda close my eyes and show you it's so minimal, but at the same time, I feel like this is something that you can do very easily with this palette, is very minimal makeup and very everyday. So like I'm going to the salon, I didn't wanna wear something too much on my eyes and this worked really well for that. So what I did was I jumped into, let me see if I could, I can't prop this anywhere. So I jumped into this color right here in the center. So this really pretty like mauve tone color and I put that all over over the lid and then I just got this metallic that's right here and I put that on the inner portion and kind of blended it into the center and then I just grabbed a little bit of the green and just put it on top and I put a little bit of brown liner from Natasha my new tamarind lipstick from by beauty and that's finished off the look rare beauty mascara so very simple makeup, but I feel so far like playing with this, this has been a really nice palette to do a bunch of different looks. Like if you can tell, I did two days already of just very easy makeup, very easy every day, go to the mall, go to get your hair done makeup. And then I have also done a really fun, really deep look the first day and the next two days are definitely going to be like very dramatic looks because now i have two more days of just like full-on makeup looks so so far two days very easy makeup super comfortable to wear very easy to do and one day really really dramatic beautiful makeup and i loved the color selection so i'm really liking this palette so far i'm gonna go get my hair done maybe i'll show you guys some images from inside as i get this little thing fixed up and I'll see you guys in a few hours. Bye. All right guys, so I just finished up at the salon and this is how the hair looks. So you guys can see towards the side, now I have more highlights and I added a little bit more coolness cause you guys know I like that cool blonde look. I don't really like the warm look. And this is the final look. I blow dried it myself. I need to play with it a little bit, but I'm happy with the way it looks and the eye makeup held up really nice. So today has been a successful day. Today's day number four of my five day challenge for the Climax palette. And I'm actually pretty shocked how quickly this five day challenge has gone. This has been a quick one for me. I feel like this palette has made me want to use it. Um, I'm just putting some LYS blush on. This is the kindness blush that I really, really love. And believe it or not, guys, today I'm wearing a different foundation. I'm wearing my second favorite foundation of the year. It's the Huda Beauty Stick Foundation. I really like this. And you know what I like about it the most? I feel like this one honestly gives such a flawless complexion look for videography or photography. So I would say even better than the LYS, maybe for videos and for like pictures. But oof, I love it. I think it's so pretty. What am I gonna do? So today I wanna play with this. I'm dying to play with this blue because I don't like blue. <laughs> and I might as well get it out of the way today because today, Today I have to film two videos. <clears throat> so today I have to film two videos, but it's it's Monday. So today's like my boring day. Honestly, I just feel so over everything. <laughs> it's so sad. I can't believe it's the holidays and I'm just like, I'm still not Christmassy. <sighs> so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this blue and let's just put it on and just kind of get an idea. Oh, wow. Uh, so that's what I liked about this blue. Now I'm remembering. It has more gray in it. So it's not really like a blue blue. It's like a blue gray. Prettier than just blue, in my opinion. So I'm gonna grab this color that's right next door and let's just put it next to it. I wanna kinda, do I like those? I do, I like them together. Okay, well we're gonna do that. So yeah, you guys have seen me do this process before. Sometimes I kind of like just swatch it on my eyes just to see if I like the colors together and then I start to blend them out and make them work. So that's what we're doing today because I really have no clue. I'm gonna clean some of my brushes off. 
with my color switch from Sephora. If you guys don't have one of these, this is like a must. Sephora has them, every brand has them. I'll link it down below, but these are just like if you're using a color, like if you've been using this brush too much and you wanna switch between colors, you clean off of this and it takes off the pigment off your brush. So this is like the lazy way of cleaning it before you clean it. <laughs> and it works wonders for somebody like me. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one first and let's just add that in. And we're gonna go like this. I'm gonna blend it with a different shade, but then I'm gonna grab into this brownish color that it's a metallic, but it has a like kind of like a shimmery metallic. Let's get a smaller brush. And um, I feel that it will allow me to do an outer edge without looking too harsh. So we're gonna try this. Let's go ahead and grab it like this, kind of like in an angle. So I do this in like an angle so that you can kind of see it go a little bit like that. I hope that makes sense. And then I'm gonna bring it up and blend it into the other shade. And since they're both like metallic-y shades, I do have to kind of like go like this over the two so that you don't see the line. You see how I'm kind of like deleting that line? So I'm like deleting the line so that they kind of look like, hey, it faded into like a brown color. How cool is that? So we're gonna do that. I think this looks pretty cool together. So now to soften up, cause I need to soften those edges cause they are very harsh right now. I'm gonna look for a brush I like <laughs> and clean it off on my color switch because my brushes are so dirty, I have to clean them. Um, I'm gonna grab this color right here. So this is just that palish color. I've used this already a few times to blend and it's nice. Um, it is one of those colors that do not show too much pigment on my lid, but I think since the colors in here are a little bit darker, it is nice that they included a color like this one because the pigments in here are already so deep. Like there's so many dark colors. I don't like it when they include colors like this in palettes that they're not very dark pigmented colors. I'm like, why? I want more color. So this one is actually good to be in this palette. So I'm just gonna blend out those edges with this color. That looks kind of cool. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab a deeper color for the lower lash line. I think I'm gonna grab this color right here and bring it halfway like that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of this color to the outer V, just because even though that color is nice, I, <laughs> I'm like somebody who really likes that outer V detail. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of this color and just kind of dab it right here, kind of to lift my eye just a little bit. I need it to lift a little bit more than it is. Just like that. So then, clean it with my eraser. Then I'm gonna grab this color one more time and blend the bottom lash line so it's not super harsh like it is right now. Soften everything up. I kind of wanna add a little bit of the blue to the lower lash line, so I'm gonna grab it. I'm just gonna add it right here, like really tight. Did something, maybe not that much, but it did something. This look is gonna benefit from the eyeliner and the mascara. So let me finish this off. You guys will see the final look. I'm sure it's gonna come out pretty decent because I'm kind of happy with this color tones and I'll be right back. All right guys, and here we go. Here's the final look. And like, this happens to me sometimes that I'm like, I don't like blue, I don't like blue. But and then I do the eye look and I'm like, man, maybe I don't mind blue. But I think it's because this is like a grayish blue. And this is a pretty blue. This is a blue that I can get on board with. It's not like a shocking blue. It has a little bit more gray in it. It's a little bit less shocky blue. I guess that's what I would call it. But I actually really like the eye look. I love the way that it gradients into this like brownish tone. And something that I'm learning from this palette so much is that these colors just mesh so well together. Like I don't know if I would use the blue with the green. I'd probably stick away from that combination. But the blue with these tones going up this direction looks beautiful. This blue with the pink would look really pretty. The blue with this brown looks really pretty. The only one I would probably stick away from would be these two. Even though because of the tone of it, I don't see it looking bad. Like if I mix these two together and did an eye look that had like a blue going into a green, it probably would look pretty because all of these tones work so well together. This is such a cohesive palette. I have loved every look. So I've done day, I've done night, 
I've done extravagant. I've done like basically go get your hair done makeup and I have been happy with every look. Quality so far, amazing. Metallics have a beautiful, beautiful pigment to them and they last really long, so I'm happy. So let's see what's gonna happen on my last day. Tomorrow will be my last day, day number five. We'll do something fun. I don't even know what colors I have left to use, but maybe we'll stick to this one all over the lid. Maybe we'll do something smoky. I don't know, we'll, we'll figure it out tomorrow. Oh, and my lips, I didn't tell you. So today I'm wearing this combination. I'm wearing Natasha Denona's Julia Lip Liner with my new Bite Beauty lipstick in Perline. Praline, Praline. This is one of the newer ones. I thought it could look so pretty because it's kind of like a cool toned pink. It matches really well with the eyes. I think the blue and this like purpley pink looks really cool. So eyeliner, I am using um, Natasha Denona's Macro Blade on the top and, and I'm using Rare Beauty for the lashes. So, ooh, no L'Oreal Lash Paradise today either. So I'm excited, I like this look. Let's see what happens tomorrow. We are back, day number five. Today is the last day of my five day challenge. I just had lunch and I'm ready to play with makeup. Yesterday I kind of gave you guys a little idea of maybe mixing these two colors together and if they would work. And I almost feel like doing that today, but I know deep down inside that this could be like a complete disaster. But I almost feel like some of you guys are wondering like, can you mix those colors together? So I feel like doing it. Other than that, the only other look that I would probably do today would be this smoked all over the lid and then just maybe one of these colors to blend it. But I feel like doing something different. I've used all these colors already. Let's be daring. So I think I'm gonna smoke out the outer V with this. I'm gonna use this one. Actually, I actually have to see which one's lighter. What do you guys think? Which one do you guys think should be in the inner portion? I almost feel like this one should be in the inner portion, this in the outer, and then we'll deepen with this. So we're gonna use those colors. Oh my God, how fun. <laughs> this could be a disaster, but we're gonna do it anyways. Okay, so let's start off with the lightest shade in the center. Oh my God, this is gonna be the look I'm gonna film the whole entire intro and outro with. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully this works. I don't have time to refilm this. So we'll start with, we're gonna start with the green. We're gonna put that, oh, first let's clean this off. Let's start with putting that, let's use my finger, right here. I love this green though. This is beautiful. Isn't that green something else? I love it. And then let's get the blue. Interesting. And then I'm gonna switch between green and blue and kind of like shade them together. I'm softening the line. I'm just using my fingers. You can do this too. You don't always have to use brushes. I kind of like to use my fingers anyways for metallics and then I like clean it off at the end with a brush but I feel like your finger gets in there so much better and you get more pigment. It's just like easier way to put on metallics. Obviously we're not even close to being done here, so I've got a lot to go. I'm gonna grab into the dark burgundy-ish brown, add that to the outer V. I'm gonna think what I'm gonna use to smoke, what I'm gonna use to blend it all together. I need to find a good, probably gonna use this one to blend it. This looks like it could be kind of a fun look. I'm not mad at it right now. So I'm just gonna kind of bring that brown all the way through. We'll make it a little bit darker like that. Cool, right? And then on top, I'll blend it with a lighter shade. So when I'm going on the outer V, I'm putting more pigment. And then when I'm coming this way, I'm lightly, I'm lightly putting my brush on my face because I don't want it to be very dark all the way through. Most of the darkness I want out on the outer V. And then um, I'm just gonna get, let me take some of these face brushes out. I'm gonna grab this color right here and I'm gonna blend the top line and also the outer V so it's not so sharp and strong and in your face. I'm using right now a Refer 15. This is my favorite blending brush right now at the moment, I've got to kind of keep on reaching for it. It's big, but man, it does like a really nice impact with the blending. If you guys can see how soft 
that's created that line. It's really, really softens lines. So I really like this brush. So definitely the green to blue does work. If you guys can see the colors are just so within like the same color family that they could easily be used together. Tight line. Then I'm gonna grab this brush here, my favorite tight line brush. This is Bristles Beauty P06RF. Grabbing this color. All right, and then we're gonna blend with this one. All right, so that is what we have going. I hope it doesn't look too similar to yesterday's look. It might just a tad look a little bit similar to yesterday's look because the blue and the green, they're very similar in tone. So you can kind of tell that they're different, but they're not so different that it's like a huge noticeable difference. But yeah, I think it looks really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and put some liner, mascara, a cool lipstick to change up the look a little bit more and I'll be right back. Okay, so we are done with look number five. So I actually ended up being very happy with how it turned out. So it does look different, I think, from yesterday's look. Um, you definitely can see a difference between the green and the blue. And the more and more I was looking at it in different lights, I was like, yeah, this does look pretty different. And I like this. I think this looks so pretty too. And this was a look that could have gone really wrong. Like these same colors, blues and greens put together that are not like in the same color family that do not work together could have been a disaster in the making but if you guys can see this entire palette just works so flawlessly together every shade that i use today beautiful blending amazing for my lipstick today i'm using an amazing lip color so this is chai from bite beauty like i told you guys i have so many of these bite beauty lipsticks now i'm obsessed with them and i used the lip liner from natasha denona in lala to go ahead and line the lips it gave it a little bit of a deeper vibe and then for my eyeliner macro tech and i used the brown eyeliner on the bottom and on the top i used the black macro blade from natasha and I think that's about it. Oh, and my foundation today, I'm using the faux filter, the actual bottle one from Huda, like the really strong one, because I'm gonna be doing a video on foundations and I wanted to test it again. And yeah, it looks kind of cool. The only thing I can notice a little bit more texture on my forehead than usual, but other than that, I really like it. So I'm happy with this look. Got a few things to film today, but let's get into the outro. I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts. All right, guys, so you guys saw it. Five full days using this palette, and this was a pleasure to do. Like, this was fun. Like, you know, I have used eyeshadow palettes that are beautiful, best name brands, and just like supposed to make you so excited and felt a little let down at the end. This palette itself, there was just something about it. It was just a joy to use. I feel like when you have a palette like this, this is the type of palette you could take with you on vacation. It's the type of palette you can have daily. It's the type of palette you could wear to work. You could wear it at night. You could wear it on a trip. And it's just perfection like they really did such a good job with this one obviously you got to like these kind of colors but together they work like a dream if NARS can keep releasing palettes like this one they are really on to something I think the problem with NARS sometimes is they kind of go in a certain direction and they continue doing that theme over and over and over again and people get bored but this one had a different theme this one gave a lot of excitement people got excited about the color story and it worked so well NARS keep going this way. If you keep going this way, you're onto something. This was absolutely stunning. The formulas were beautiful. It was a joy to work with, to be honest. It really was. One of the best things I think is the fact that I had two days that I had like very minimal stuff to do, but I had to put on a little bit of makeup. And this was a fun palette to use. Like having to go to the office, putting this on the lids, it created a beautiful look, but it wasn't too in your face. Going to get my hair done, where Obviously, I don't want to look like I've, you know, totally glamified. At least I don't. I just kind of don't want to have makeup going down my face, you know? Just grab like two or three colors and do a very subtle eye look that looked like I didn't try too hard. So pretty. But and then when it came to spicing up the looks, man, did, was I able to spice up the looks. And I even think I could do something really smoky with this color right here all over the lid and just do a really smoky, um, this color to this color, you know, like very smoky brownish burgundy lid that would probably look so stunning, which I'm probably gonna do that look on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram. I'm probably gonna do that look on Instagram because I kind of feel like doing it. And I just really honestly enjoyed this so much, guys. I think that this is is a stunning 
palette and I would highly recommend it. I really think that this is probably one of my favorites of the whole year. Color story, formula, and just ease of use. I feel like if you buy this, you're gonna have a lot of use per wear. You're not gonna feel like it's sitting there. You're gonna wanna use it. So yeah, this was, this, this is an amazing palette. I, I really don't have too many negatives for it. The only thing I would say is between this shade and this shade, they're kind of close in color, you know, a little close in color. Maybe we could have gone in a little bit deeper with this one. But other than that, I really honestly think that this is an amazing palette. So I love it. Let me know down below, what do you guys think? If you guys did this five day challenge with me, did you guys feel like this was such an easy palette to use? Do you love it? Do you own it? Let me know that down below. But anyways, also, what palette do you guys want to see me do next? A lot of people have said they want the Patrick Ta Major Dimension palette next. So if you're on board with that one, leave that comment down below and I will be announcing pretty soon which palette we're gonna be using for my next five day challenge. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.